And now we're going to talk about setting up the, I, the master and slave pin for a DVD writer. So now here we have the cable and we identified that these two connectors are the ones that go to the drives themselves. This is the top connector and this one is called a master connector and it's very important because this master connector needs to correspond to a pin on the drive you're going to use. And this is called the slave. So remember, first connector is the master, second connector is the slave. And why is this important? Because when you look at the drive, this is in this case is a CD-ROM drive. Right there we have the power connector. Right here we have the data connector. Right here we have some digital inputs to go to the to the sound card and different systems. And this one is not used right now. It's it's a factory use, it's for testing. But we need to focus on this. When you look at the drive on the back, you need to look for a spot that says like CS for cable select, SL for slave, and MA for master. So let's say we want to put the CD-ROM drive as a master. All we need to do is uh, look at the back and find where it says MA for master. Then you use this tiny little pin and it goes like this oriented like that. You never want to put a pin like that. They always go like this. So you put the pin on the master. And what master means is like, let's say you already have a CD-ROM drive and the drive just died. Then what you do is um, you take it out and you set this one as a master. Let's say we want to have a, a, second, a second drive on the computer then you would set it as a slave because the top spot on the cable will be taken by your existing drive. So you wanna put it on this one. The slave, slave spot on the cable, slave, se slave select, select on the pin right here. If you wanna put it on the master on the cable, you need to put it on, the, you need to put the pin on the master on the drive also.